The Grand Ole Opry is facing major backlash following Ernest J. Pugh. On January 8th, Morgan Wallen joined the singer-songwriter for a surprise performance of the pair's new collab, Flower Shops, prompting several artists and the Black Opry, an influential, fast-growing collective of black country music artists and supporters, to speak out in disappointment that Wallen was allowed on stage at the Country Music Institution after a video surfaced of him using a racial slur in February 2021. Jason Isbell tweeted, Last night, Opry, you had a choice. Either upset one guy and his team or break the hearts of a legion of aspiring black country artists. You chose wrong, and I'm real sad for a lot of my friends today. Not surprised though, just sad. The singer-guitarist continued in response to another user, the thing that really upsets me is bigger than one person's words. It's the idea of a young black artist walking into that venue and wondering if anybody is on their side. What a lot of us consider to be a grand old honor can be terrifying for some. Doesn't have to be that way. Meanwhile, singer-songwriter Joy Oladukun wrote, Morgan Wallen's thoughtless redemption tour is the nail in the coffin of me realizing these systems, and this town is really not for us. I'ma keep making my little music in my attic. Y'all can listen if you want. I don't know that I'll do this work forever. And the Black Opry founder, Holly G, shared a letter written to the Grand Ole Opry's leadership asking for an explanation, which Yola, who's up for two Grammys this year, retweeted, calling the Opry's decision to let Wallen perform a dumpster fire. For way more on this, plus to see what other artists are saying, head to billboard.com. This is Billboard News.